Hey everybody, welcome back to the Matt Report podcast. As always, your host Matt, and today we're looking at a plugin uh, called Postmatic Engagement through Email. So I want to talk about uh, my experience my experience using uh, the plugin, though very briefly. Then I want to talk about sort of give you an overview of setting it up and, and interacting with Postmatic, and then we'll answer the questions of whether or not this plugin will be good for you or for your business or for your client's business that you might consult on. Um, so Postmatic is available for free at WordPress.org, uh, WordPress.org slash plugins slash Postmatic. You can see here uh, it has 700 plus active installs, five, 25 star reviews, which is great. Only one of uh, two support threads in the last two months. Uh, so everything looks sort of kosher on that side of the things. And if we just take a look at the stats, it's been downloaded 7,000, oh, just, just a touch over 7,000 times. And with 700 active installs, that's usually what I'm seeing from, from plugins at volume, right? It's 10% activation or active plugins from compared to the install. So 10% is your average number, I believe, uh, when you start looking at plugins at volume. It, it, we are, should note that they were running in a beta, a 1.0 beta in WordPress.org for a little while. Uh, I don't know the exact time frames. But then they recently launched with a 1.1 sort of uh, full-on live push to their new uh, subscription service. And we're going to talk about that. Now, I, I do have a trial subscription service that I'm running right now. And I haven't really pushed its full potential yet, but I'm starting to explore that. And I want to introduce that to you today. So we're just going to take a look at their website first. And I want to talk about this. So... I'm just going to read off their their marketing material and sort of summarize it for you, right? So it's your post delivered to their inbox, which means when a person comes to your website and they comment on your blog post, all of this commenting can be managed from the inbox, right? So it's as easy as hitting reply with your message and just hitting reply to that email and sort of uh, having that whole conversation uh, in your email versus being on the website, right? So... I think that when I read headlines like engage your readers at their own pace with 100% email based commenting, to me, this is my sort of my opinion on the product, is they're, they're really, they're, they're marketing this as commenting in your inbox. But for me, this platform is really much more about engagement and customizing and tailoring a custom experience of emails through uh, your WordPress website. So we're going to dive into that and what that what that really means. So at first blush, people might look at this and say, hmm, 100% email based commenting on my website. Uh, do I really need that? You know, do I really need to pay for that? Do I really, you know, am, will my readers really appreciate this? You know, I think that that answer can only be, of course, answered uh, by you and by how much commenting you have happening on your on your website, on your blog. Now, we're going to look at one of the examples. And if you're somebody like Tom McFarlane, who is who's a daily tech blogger, right? He's blogging uh, nearly every day. And I'm sure he, he just has a ridiculous amount of comments. And he's spending a lot of time probably moderating those comments and managing those comments. So when you are somebody like him, then this is probably sort of heaven sent, right? The Postmatic Premium Plan is is probably 100% worth it to you, right? So for just over 100 bucks a year, uh, you can manage all this stuff uh, through your email instead of having to go to the website. Uh, and, and then, of course, not having your readers go back to the website. So if they see comments coming through, they might say, well, I really don't feel like going to the website today or I don't have time for that. But if, they're, if there's a, a, a good conversation happening and they're on the run, like I am most of the time on my mobile phone, they can just have that conversation right through email. So super super clean experience if you if you have a lot of comments. But see, what I'm really excited about as this product matures is what you'll see here in the premium plan is you can customize these, these emails that go out, right? So you can do things, and I'm going to show you this in the settings, you can do things like put uh, header banners or your own custom header text on the top of these emails. You can pull in native uh, WordPress widgets into the footer which is also really cool, and I'll actually show you how to do that uh, with my own uh, shameless self-promotion of the conductor plug, and I'm gonna show you how I do that. So let's just take a look at um, Postmatic from the back, end, uh, the back end view. Now, one thing to note, because as a product developer, as someone who's building a, a plugin, uh, most notably conductor, I really, really appreciate well-crafted admin screens. Now, 
This isn't over the top, you know, this is fairly straightforward, fairly simple, but just matching the colors with the branding uh, and the fonts and the head headline uh, elements, this is just a great touch. You know, there's a little background image. These are, these are things that, um, this is of course super very, <laughs> this is very nitpicky. You really have to be in, in the plugin space to appreciate these things. Like I love the fact that there are the team signatures at the bottom. In fact, we put a signature at the bottom of our document for conductor. Um, it's just a, it's just a note to say, hey, look, this just came out of beta, but look how refined we are. We are we are not giving up on this plugin that we see or that I see so often in the WordPress space that folks will launch a, their MVP and then you know they they read a hundred books and they say launch an MVP and they they you know or they or they launch a splash page and collect a thousand emails and they never launch a product because they they wanted more than a thousand emails. Um, what this tells me is, look, we're we're here to stay we're going to get this product right and it's going to mature. So, you know, keep coming back. Or even if you're not ready to go to the premium plan, there might be some things coming in the future that you're really going to dig. So uh, I just want to quickly go through uh, the settings panel. This is the part that's very interesting to me and I believe it's going to mature a whole heck of a lot more uh, than what we see here. And this is my thing about the whole commenting thing. Like the commenting in the inbox for me not a big seller, right? I don't get a lot of comments on my blog. <laughs> I don't blog as much as I should. Uh, you know, the, the even the podcast is uh, slowly um, churning away. But this is what's interesting because we're all going to be, as more content comes out, as Google changes, of course, their algorithms, which they already have, and it's getting harder and harder to compete, tailoring and customizing the experience for your website readers, visitors, commenters, is going to be another sliver of that pie, which is going to drive traffic back to your website, which will eventually affect the bottom line. So things like being able to add in an email header is very cool because for all of the comments coming through, you can have either an image or a text. And you can change this sort of on the fly. And I'm assuming that maybe eventually you might be able to change this um, conditionally based on the type of blog post that's getting delivered or the type of comment that's getting delivered. Uh, which means you can put certain call to actions in the header. And then not only in the header, but also in the footer. Uh, and what's, what's really cool about this product that I don't think a, a mail service like MailChimp uh, is going to do for you. Uh, being able to pull in and design a footer based off your native widgets is super cool and even better when you're, <laughs> when you're using Conductor. And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, so anyway, these are the settings. Email templates, you can customize that. Uh, and of course, what the body of that email will be uh, in, the, in between the header and the footer will be the content of your blog post or the, uh, the comments that people are, are sort of reading. Uh, invite subscribers, this is really cool. So if you want to invite subscribers to be uh, connected to your site, and, and what this will be doing is sending out your most recent posts and comments to those uh, posts if they are subscribed to that. You can pull in people, uh, your WordPress users, or you can import a list uh, to do that. Uh, that's really cool. And you can send out the email introduction. So the person will have to respond to that. It's not like you can just hook them up to your site and they're automatically in there. It's something that they'll have to opt into. Uh, the options page, I'm not going to go through all of this, but the number one that's checked off is author subscriptions. Subscribe authors to comments on their own posts. So basically when somebody uh, leaves a comment, they are automatically subscribed to that comment. Uh, or uh, the author of the uh, post, like if you have guest authors, will also be um, subscribed to the comments that come through with that. So this is great for somebody who has a community site or does a lot of, uh, has a lot of guest bloggers come to their site. They can engage in the conversation. Migrate from Jetpack, pretty straightforward. Uh, import from MailChimp. This is pretty cool too. What this will do is um, you drop in your MailChimp API and it will pull in uh, all of your lists and then you have the chance to invite those lists to subscribe to your website, which is, which is great. And I think this is a, Again, if you are, hey, do I do I go for the nine dollar a month plan? Um, you know, maybe you're on the free free plan with Mailchimp, but you're 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 connecting your Mailchimp to your RSS feed, and you're using your units of delivery. Uh, this is getting a little bit technical, but you're using your units of delivery in your Mailchimp account to send out your blog posts every week or every day. Uh, the nine dollars a month will cover that, and then you can continue to use Mailchimp for free for just your straightforward newsletters or other announcements that you want. So. This is kind of interesting to look at if you're sort of on the fence. Well, do I upgrade to MailChimp 
basic plan or maybe I can use Postmatic instead and sort of offset my free plan with that. So interesting to check out if, if that's the situation that you're in. Lastly, the get support page. Again, I love well-crafted admin pages. I love the fact that we can quickly get to their documentation, their widget directory, uh, and their get support plan, or excuse me, get support page um, to submit a ticket if you're a pro member. And then of course, bringing in some of the, the, most, the most recent news is really cool there. So what does this, what does this look like, right, to the user of Postmatic? Um, I'm gonna take a look at an email right here. This is, Oh, actually, I wanted to show you this one first. So this is me respond or leaving a comment on Tom McFarland's blog. And this is the email I get. So he's on the pro plan. He gets a nice custom image that he's put in. And this is what I mean about branding. Like this is so much cleaner and well-rounded than maybe like a Jetpack delivery uh, of subscribing to comments, right? So it shows his branding and not WordPress branding and or Jetpack branding, whatever it might be. Or if you're using like Discuss or something like that, this is all branded towards you. You have the opportunity to do that. So you get the message and the instructions of what's going to happen now that this conversation can happen in your inbox. Um, it's, here's the breakdown of everything. Here, you just reply to your emails will be immediately published uh, to the web as a comment. And it's very easy to sign up. Now, this is my only nitpicky part uh, of this. This last line here is now it's time to confirm your subscription. The person actually has to reply with the word agree. Now, <laughs> it's so uh, first world problems of me to say, geez, I have to type out the word agree. I'd rather just have a button, uh, call to action button right here that I could click and just say, yes, subscribe me. Because um, I do feel that uh, although I understand why this is doing this, this is sort of an exercise in the technology. Like, wow, look, all you have to do is write a word and hit reply and magic will happen. Um, I'd rather just have a link that says, yes, subscribe me, because I do a lot of email like the rest of the world on my cell phone uh, or on my iPad, and I'm on the go and I'm moving around. I just want to hit a button. Just a little little nuance, but uh, very cool that you can customize and tailor this experience. And once you do subscribe, uh, we talked all about that engagement before, and you, some of you might be thinking, well, Matt, you told me this is great for um, increasing engagement to my site or my client's site, but they're not going to um, they're not going to go back to the site because everything's done in the inbox now, right? Well, how is that going to help? So when you when you hit subscribe and you're subscribed to a thread, uh, you get a little synopsis of uh, some of the comments that have taken place. So you can kind of read through that, and it's just another great way to say, hey, uh, boy, these are some other interesting conversations going on here. Maybe I will go back to the website uh, and view this conversation online again. This is just another way. These are small percentages of the pie that can help uh, drive uh, further engagement to your website. Uh, and then this is a reply from Tom. <clears throat> so Tom left a reply to my comment, uh, and he, there's his reply there. All I had to do was hit reply, and then here's another reminder uh, of, of um, there's more engagement, right? There's more comments going on. So there were six more comments previous to this, um, and here is the reply in the context. So this is also telling, reminding me like, hey, there's more stuff you can, you can go uh, and check out if you just go back to the website. So again, increasing that uh, sort of awareness. All right, so real quick, I wanna show you uh, working with the uh, Postmatic email footer. And basically what it does is it throws in uh, a sidebar for your Postmatic emails. So basically every widget you drop in here will be delivered in your Postmatic uh, emails that go out to your, your subscribers or your commenters. So this is awesome, right? If you have a e-commerce store and you're doing promotions, you can change these on the fly. Uh, you can add in widgets at will and sort of build out uh, these different call to actions. Now, in this example, I'm showing my uh, conductor widget, it's just, uh, my conductor plugin widget is showing three of the most recent posts. So again, if we talk about engagement, how do we bring uh, engagement to a whole other level? Uh, this is a test email that I ran. So my first test run, this is a test email. Uh, say this were a test email going out to a reader. Uh, my conductor plugin would drop in my three different uh, widgets or my three different, uh, my three most recent posts uh, in a small widget. Now, what I noticed is the small was a little too small for me. And what I did is I adjusted my conductor widget, <clears throat> excuse me, to uh, a large display. And now I get the full featured image uh, and I have uh, the three most recent uh, titles in here. Now I could do other things, like I could put some text widgets around it and I could do some other stuff. But again, you kind of see that flexibility, which you won't get on another platform. And you, no other platform is gonna pull in your, 
your widgets for you uh, and and try to display that, right? And you can change these on the fly. And the idea here is to get creative in the beginning, but I'm assuming that uh, the folks at Postmatic are going to get creative and allow you to do uh, much more uh, stuff uh, in your email uh, that you can't do in a regular commenting platform. So all in all, I think the product is great. And look, I, I think that if you are a daily blogger now and you've got tons of comments, this is sort of a no-brainer. If you're on the fence, you can check out their free uh, plugin. You can get it at wordpress.org. You can get it right here from their website, gopostmatic.com. And you can check it out. It's a great alternative to other uh, commenting platforms. And look, if you're ready to uh, eventually upgrade, uh, the premium plan is only uh, just 100 bucks or just over 100 bucks for a year. It's not that bad. And this is introductory price. Uh, it's pre-launch price, uh, according to their website. So I definitely recommend checking that out. It's Postmatic, gopostmatic.com. Everybody else, if you want to stay up to date with what's going on at the Matt Report, it's mattreport.com. Slash subscribe. If you've got some other stuff uh, you want me to take a look at, let me know. Uh, I don't do reviews for everybody. And that, there will be some paid reviews coming up. This was not a paid review, uh, but I will be doing some sponsored uh, reviews uh, coming soon uh, over the summertime for some new plugins that are coming out there. So I'll talk to you soon. It's slash subscribe. Thanks, everybody.